Well, welcome back uh, to this uh, series of videos on uh, solving equations. Okay. Now this is a equation in the form 3 times b to the power of 4 is equal to 3, 243. So as now this is I copied and pasted from Google, this is a balance. So this is say the left hand side and this is the right hand side of the balance. And say so this is the equal to sign. So this is your left hand side and this is your right hand side. Now I like to use the analogy of a balance and this is the equal to sign. Always left hand side should be equal to right hand side. Now you can do whatever you want, but you have to be unbiased. Okay, you can't be biased. But what do I mean by that? If you want to maintain the equality between the balance, if the two balance have to, if the two sides of the balance have to balance, yeah, then what we do is, you, whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. So, how do how does that relate to this equation? So, I want to get rid of this 3 times, so again, let me tell you, 3b to the power of 4, you should understand is 3 times b to the power of 4. So, I'm going to divide, the, you have to do the opposite of what's happening to b to the power of 4. So, b to the power of 4 has been multiplied by 3, so you have to do the opposite. That is, you have to divide this side by 3, so it also divide this side by 3. So 3 and 3 gets cancelled, so b to the power of 4. So can I write 243? 243 goes, you can divide by 3. So can I write that as 3 times, 3 goes in 24, 8 times, and this is 3. So this 3 and this 3 gets cancelled. Now b to the power of 4 is 81. So let me show you how to do the next step. Now 81, I hope you understand, is 9 times 9. Okay? And 9 can be written as 3 times 3 times this 9 can be written as again 3 times 3. So 81 is nothing but 3 to the power 4. Okay, so this is called prime factorization. So I can write b to the power of 4 is equal to 3 to the power of 4. So you can, the from the left hand side and the right hand side, you can compare this. So you can compare what is inside the bracket. So b is equal to 3, just like that. And then always it's good practice to put this back into this equation and check this. And it does make sense. Okay. So let us look at one more question. 3x over 2 is equal to 4x plus 1 over 5. Now the first thing that I want to do is I want to get rid of this 2 and 5. I don't want these denominators. So what do I do? So I say, okay, can I multiply 2 times 5, which is 10. So I want, if I want to get rid of this 2 and 5, I say, well, I can, what if I multiply this side by 10 and also this side by 10? So let me write that step again. So can I write this like this? 10 times 3x over 2 is equal to 10 times 4x plus 1 over 5. So what I've done is I multiplied this side by 10, multiplied this side by 10. Okay, so the equality is maintained. I haven't done anything because you have done whatever you have done on both sides. Now 2 goes in 10 how many times? So 2 goes in 2 once and 2 goes in 10 5 times. Now 5 goes in 5 once and 5 goes in 10 twice. So this 1 doesn't matter so you can say 5 times 3x is equal to 2 times 4x plus 1. Now you have to open this 5 times 3x is 15x. Now here is where most of you can go wrong. You have to multiply this with this. You have to distribute this. So that's the technical word. You have to distribute 2 to 4x and 1 by multiplying because this is 2 times 2 times 4x is 8x. Then 2 times 1 is 2. Okay. 
Now I want to bring the x's on one side. So I'll t if I want to take away 8x from this side, I have to take away 8x from this side. So this and this gets cancelled. It will change color. This is 7x is equal to 2. I'm going to divide this side by 7 and this side by also 7. Okay. So your 7 gets cancelled. So your x is 2 sevens. Okay. Now, if you want to check your answer, it's always good. You, I don't have the time. I want to finish it off. You go and put 2 sevens here. You'll get left hand side would be equal to the right hand side. See you in the next video.